Tasty Healthy Shit, episode number four. So, here we are today in Luke John Harrison's kitchen, and we are going to cook some steak, some gluten-free pasta, which is really nice. I've got, I've got the most finest gluten-free pasta, and some vegetables. Tasty, healthy, and definitely, definitely worth your time. So, in order to cook this, again, we're probably looking at something like all in all 15 to 20 minutes. So I'll set a timer and we'll see how long this takes in total because all of these meals are probably going to take less time than what it would for to order a Just Eat or an Uber and sit on your arse and wait for it. So, let's get cracking. The ingredients for today. We have two sirloin, I'm gonna cook this for two. For me and my right hand man, Adam, who's behind the camera, we've got two sirloin steaks from Aldi. We have this tri-color fusely free from pasta. Now this is, um, as you might know, I'm on a mostly gluten-free diet, so I get the, the gluten-free pasta. Um, an alternative to this could be sweet potato that you could microwave, but today we're gonna just put some gluten-free pasta in. We've got some gluten-free soy sauce, which is called tamari. We've got some garlic granules, some paprika. We have also just some ready to roast Mediterranean vegetables. What I'm gonna do with these is just pan fry them off before we start, and we're gonna cook everything today in coconut oil. So, without further ado, let's get cracking with the mackin. First off, we're gonna fill the kettle, and we're gonna add boiling water for the pasta. And we're gonna cook the pasta 12 to 15 minutes. Again, how much, it's gonna depend. We have probably got, in terms of portions, we've probably got two to three good portions in there. Um, this whole bag is 500 grams per bag calories. It's, I'll have to work that out. Just for argument's sake, let's find out actually how much pasta's in here. 233 grams. Yes? Would you like some pasta? Would you like some pasta, Toffee? This is not for kittens, look ye, yeah. you're like a little mere cat. You're like a little mere cat, aren't ye? We have 360 calories worth of pasta here, which is just over 200 grams. We'll probably get, to be fair, once this has absorbed the water, we'll get three portions out of this. So portion wise, maybe 120 calories, 150 calories of pasta per portion. Here we go. Cover all the pasta. Alexa, set a timer for 12 minutes. 12 minutes, 30 minutes. Let that go for about 12 to 15 minutes to fully absorb all that pasta. Now, we can get cracking with the steak and the vegetables. So, here we go. Medium heat on the pan. Get yourself a little bit coconut oil. Remember, when cooking with coconut oil, it is a good source of fat. It, it is calorific. However, you don't need to use that much. Like, in terms of what I use, if you look at that, you'd probably say that wasn't even a full table, full teaspoon. Not even a full teaspoon there. To brown off this veg, this Mediterranean style vegetables. Now you can obviously buy veg separately, chop them up like we've done in previous videos, or you know sometimes, just for the convenience factor, you can get it already chopped and ready to put in the pan. Yes, you pay a little bit extra for it, but in this life, if you can make things easier for yourself, Make it fucking easier. Moving around the oil. Here we go. Literally, tear it off. We've got some Mediterranean style veg and just throw in the pan. Here we go. This uh, veg is a little bit chunky. So I'm gonna just cut it whilst in the pan so it'll, it'll fry better. Because you usually roast this, but obviously you can pan fry it as well. But I'm gonna chop them up a little bit more so that they roast a little bit easier, uh, so they pan fry a little bit easier, sorry. Okay, so we're tossing our veg. Fucking there's a euphemism, isn't it? <laughs> anyway, tossing our veg, brown it off. Once this is done, we'll separate that one into two plates. The pasta is also browning, um, it's browning. The pasta is also absorbing nicely. Give it a little bit of spin. It should be ready in about five, six minutes. Once that's ready, we can just leave it in the pan really. It'll keep warm and we'll cook the steak. When I cook my steak, I prefer, I think you do as well, mate, like medium rare. Yeah. Medium rare is my kind of thing. The missus likes it well done, charred. I'm not into that. I know, I know some people are, but I prefer a little bit more redness and flavor. 
bit like you, mate. Um, so that's the way we're going to cook it. So it'll be like a flash fry, maybe two, three minutes each side, something like that. That's the way that we'll do it on a pretty high heat. In terms of adding things to it, um, we'll add the garlic granules and the paprika. I might actually put a little bit, squeeze a little bit of fresh garlic on the top as well, because garlic, fresh garlic, just goes well with everything. Just goes well with everything. So you should always have a little bit in the fridge ready. As this is browning off, a couple more minutes left, I'm just going to cut into the steak packet. Now, everyone has their way of doing steak. I like to cook steak fast and get it done. Um, and I know the way I like it. So, what I tend to do is I will chop it into small pieces. Because I'm alright. If I go out to a restaurant, I like the steak to be cooked as a whole. But it cooks a lot quicker in pieces. And if you're, you know, strap for a little bit of time maybe, cook, cut into smaller pieces, it will cook better. And I just like strips of steak. So this is what we're gonna do here. So we're coming up to 10 minutes flash frying on the veg. It took a little bit longer just with it having thicker peppers and um, thicker onions and stuff. It's a thickly sliced courgette. It's taken a little bit longer than if it was thinly sliced because it was a roasting dish, but I like things pan fried and a little bit coconut oil. So 10 minutes on here, the pasta will be ready in the next three to four minutes as well. We're gonna get the steak on and the steak's gonna be flash fried to a medium rare consistency. So let's get rid of these. Pan's nice and hot, we'll dive in with a little bit more coconut oil as well. Again, just about probably half a teaspoon. Small amount of oil, not much. Doesn't need too much. And then, what, this is how I cook steak. There's many different ways to cook steak. Some people may not agree with this, some people might like to cook it a lot slower, but this is how I cook it. I like it like this, I love the taste. It's convenient, it's quick, and it's very tasty. Pasta's nearly ready. Another couple of minutes on that. 12 minutes is probably about right, actually, for Alexa. All right, here's how I cook mine. Oil in the pan, and we'll go put some garlic granules in the bottom. Put some paprika in the bottom. I put the stuff on the bottom, throw the steak in, then I'll add some more to it. So here we go. Here we go, adding the steak to the pan now. Steak to a hot pan. Here we go. Even it out. Leave it for a minute or two, and we'll start tossing it, adding some more garlic and some tamari soy sauce. Alexa, how long's left on the timer? Alexa, stop. That's our timer for our pasta, which is done. Here we go. Alexa, set a timer for six minutes. Six minutes, seven minutes. Six minutes, I think that's the absolute longest we're gonna be cooking this steak for. So, as you can see already, it's started to brown. It's started to brown on the bottom. Attach to some of the garlic. I'm gonna give it a little bit of flip. And then we're gonna start adding some tamari, a little bit more garlic and paprika, and season with some salt and pepper as well. Gluten-free soy sauce. I'm gonna use the rest of it. There's not that much left in the bottom. It's maybe about a tablespoon or two there. I'm gonna add a little bit more garlic to the top. A little bit, again, I'm not measuring this out, I'm just throwing a little bit on, a little bit of this, a little bit of that, a little bit of, ooh la la. Some salt, along the way. Some pepper, along the way. And then give it a constant mix for the next couple of minutes. While the steak is cooking for a couple of minutes, just drain the pasta, we can start dishing it up because the steak will be ready in a couple of minutes. So, pasta wise, again, like I say, We've done about 230 grams, which will make a decent three portions, to be fair. I'm not going to stack tons and tons of pasta on here. This is gluten-free pasta, so a lot more light on the stomach. A gluten-free diet I highly advocate for, if you've never tried it. I always feel like you'll feel better all the time. Only have gluten on a, on a treat meal. There's a de two decent sized portions there, and we're going to add this steak. And this is going to be our lunch for today. You could cook this as a evening meal as well. The steak is browning nicely there. It's been in approximately three minutes. And we're nearly done to be fair. Any longer it's gonna to start to cook too much. What do you reckon, Adam? You reckon we're nearly there? I reckon probably another minute. Yeah, another minute there. Another minute 
flash fry in it. Again, probably four to five minutes in total. I did stick a six minute timer on, but I think that's probably too much for a, a medium ray. Especially if the pan's very hot. What do you reckon, buddy? Have a look. It's mm, looking good. Yeah. It's looking good. Let's do it. Let's dish it up. Let's dish it up. What do you reckon of that, mate, eh? I reckon that's top tier chef work right there. Oh, yeah. Mm. So all in all, this has taken approximately 20 to 22 minutes, like most of the meals that I cook. That would be less time than if you were to sit on your phone, sit on your arse, which is possibly fat as fuck and needs to move more, and order a Just Eat or an Uber. It's uh, takeaway, sorry. Uber, Uber Eats, innit? I Uber even do takeaways now. So get off your arse, start cooking from scratch, cook from fresh, look after yourself. You deserve to feel better, you deserve to look better, and there's easier ways to do it just like this. If you'd like to learn how to create outstanding levels of energy, motivation, and self-control, my second book, Supercharged, The Modern Day Guide to Doing Exactly That, is out now.